I have a confession to make. Sometimes when I go to the bathroom, it doesn't smell like roses. I know it must be hard for you to believe, but just try. And previously, I would arm myself with air fresheners just to prevent myself from killing a small village. I don't want to be the cause of anyone's death. So if you can relate, then maybe, just maybe, you have an abnormally close relationship with your air freshener. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's toxic like a bad boyfriend and it's time to ditch that sucker and be off like a prom dress. Are you ready? Let's do this. It's Melissa Ramos, nutritionist, acupuncturist, and owner and creator of Sexy Food Therapy. And on this week's quickie, I'm going to be talking to you about air fresheners and how they are hormonal disruptors and to provide you with some natural alternatives. Now I know what you might be thinking. What the heck are phthalates? Listen, I realize that many of you could be going to a completely different floor just to avoid that sweet after scent that could choke a donkey, but I'm here to tell you to put down that air freshener once and for all. Here are two tricks that I think you are going to love. And the first one is as simple as grabbing a glass water bottle that you fill up with water and adding in about three to four drops of essential oil. Then just spritz and go. Sweet, right? Next is one of my favorites, and that is to grab that essential oil of your choice and to really put a ton of drops onto the cardboard of your toilet roll. That way, the next time you play Yank the Cardboard Wheel, you'll receive an instant surprise of freshness. Simple, right? are endocrine disruptors, which is the last thing we need when we're trying to take care of our lady balls, our ovaries. Speaking of which, did you hear? I'm doing another webinar on PCOS and ovarian cysts that you won't want to miss. So make sure to reserve your spot as seats are limited. It's going to be a hot little ticket, I tell you. Yeah. I keep sticking at my middle finger. I'm not trying to give your bum the finger. Oh, oh my god, that was so, oh, I didn't mean that at all, at all. If this is bad for my health, then maybe I should be using this as self-defense, huh? I'll even make that face too. Pretty scary, right? 